What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, in the last video, we looked at a photo from the Zurong rover from China. This time, we're going to look at the other photos of the orbiter. Now, is China telling the truth about the actual colors of Mars? Is Mars really orange or this reddish color? Let's just jump into that and have a closer look. And here we are again, folks. We used this same page on the last video, China National Space Administration. And you can see the date is January 1st, 2022. So it's, it's up to date. It's the newest photos right here and this photo right here. Now, this is from what they call the Wi-Fi camera. And you can see as it is departing or separating from the orbiter, you can see that close up picture. And of course, it's a little further away and you can see it here. Now, what I find interesting is if you look at the very edge of Mars, you can see just a tinge of like a bluish purple. You see that very, very lightly in the photo beneath this one you can see a little bit more of a tinge of a bluish purple. Hmm. So are they actually showing the real colors of Mars? What I love about this photo is you can see like a tinge of green in the lower left. And then you can see some browns here and there, right? Even on the upper left, you can see what looks like a little bit of green. Now, is that just distortion, uh, some kind of weirdness going on? I don't know. But let's go into Photoshop and show you the real colors. Then I'm going to show you some other photos from other countries. Hmm. All right, let's just jump right into that. All right, you can see it right here. Uh, you've got the photo right here. This is the same one. Now, let's fully enhance this and bring that out. Now, this is what I've done, folks. Auto tone, auto contrast, auto color. Okay, and all I do is slightly darken it. A little contrast in there. Bring down the brights a little bit. And then maybe we can desaturate just a little bit so we don't have it like really soaked with colors, right? And there you go. So it's pretty much the same photo, right? You know, I just made it a little bit darker a couple times and you can see this come out. See that? So you can bring it out just doing that a couple times. And of course you want to desaturate. So you want to get the deeper colors, but desaturate so it doesn't look too distorted, right? And there you go. The next photo, like I said, the second one down, Again, you can see this, this is the original photo. Look right here, just right next to their insignia, they have this weird tinge of like a bluish purple. Okay, now, here's the enhanced one of this one. And it's not overdone, it's right there, but guess what? Notice the difference in color and look at the little edge of the atmosphere. It's still like a bluish, right? You got more tans down here in the lower left. You got a little bit different colors throughout the photo, right? So it isn't all just a reddish orange planet. Now, other thing I want you to take note of, even after doing an auto colors and auto enhancing on this photo in Photoshop, notice the insignia, it's blue. Let's go back to the original photo. It's just lighter blue. Why does Mars itself change so much? Just a darker color blue in the insignia. Even the Mars here, you can see on the upper right, it says Mars under the other insignia, it just gets darker and it's still the same colors. Nothing changes, but yet, look at the difference in colors on the surface of Mars. Same thing with this photo. You can see it just get darker on the insignia, but why does Mars change so much? It makes no sense, right? Now, are they the only ones to do this? Absolutely not. Let me show you these other photos I had. Okay, this is from the InSight Lander. Now, according to Wikipedia, this is the very first photo from the InSight Lander, which is not correct at all. This was the original. So we have China. Now we have NASA. This is the real color of Mars. And not a minute later, let's call it even two minutes. Who cares, right? The point is, not long after this original, you can hear the people talking amongst themselves. And we talked about this in the live feed, right? Where they're going, oh, wow, look, Mars is blue. Look at the sky, it's blue. They're, they're, you can hear the people talking amongst themselves. Not long after that, boom. All of a sudden, everything's red, okay? Now, this is India's photo, and of course, on the left was the original, and of course, 
was enhanced through Photoshop. Now, is it possible that Photoshop has an algorithm to automatically make it this color? But keep in mind, this is three different countries using their photos, but look at them. Look at the difference in them. Look at the blue atmosphere. This one here. Again, look at the insignias as well. Lower right corner. This one here just got darker on the right. Darker blue, darker orange, but look at the difference in Mars. Doesn't make any sense. Look at the difference. Here's another photo from India where this is taken from the MOM satellite. And of course, so was in this one as well. All right. And I forgot what the acronym for MOM is. I believe it's Mars Orbiter Mission. Uh, but you can see that there's really no difference in the insignia other than being darker. It doesn't change the pink. The blue doesn't change the like violet or some weird color. It just gets darker. Yet look at the difference again in Mars. It doesn't make sense, but it does because we actually know that it has an atmosphere on this planet and that it has different colors just like here on Earth. Now, does it have any oceans and does it have a, a true atmosphere like Earth? Absolutely not. Now, between our atmosphere and our oceans, this is the reason why we look like the pale blue dot from a distance. Mars, on the other hand, could have water, but very scarce and maybe in small lakes and you see a lot more ground. And of course, you do have these storms kicking up this dust and whatnot, and it'll cover the planet. That's a given. We know that. We've seen photos. Just listen, folks. Just go to Google and Google Hubble Telescope Photos of Mars. And you'll see, like, they break it down. Some of these will break it down from every month during the year. And you can see the caps getting bigger in the colder months and shrinking in the warmer months, just like here on Earth. This is three different countries. This is India. I said, this is India. We've got NASA right here. This was the very first photo taken by Lander. And then, of course, minutes later, this is what it looks like. And, of course, we have this original photo from China. Look at the difference. So what's going on here, folks? Now, some people will argue, well, maybe it's just the algorithms of Photoshop. Well, I've taken my actual photos of my own and put them into Photoshop, it doesn't change. Not a significant difference to see that. On the other hand, you can see these make somewhat of a huge difference in some of these photos, like the India ones. And of course, we already know from the Insight Lander from uh, NASA, again, blue sky, and then all of a sudden changes to all orange. So what is the true color? Folks, I think it's a lot like Earth, just not a lot of water. I believe there's lakes on Mars. Of course, they're not going to show you that. There may even be small rivers. I don't know. Now, we seen back in the day when you had J.P. Skipper actually show photos of what looked like a lake with trees around it. So I believe there's life on this planet. I believe it's, a, it's very similar to Earth, but not quite like Earth, of course. But it's very similar. It has water underground. has water at the South Pole. There's water everywhere, even if it's brine, highly salted water. The point is it's got water, plenty of it, on Mars. And of course, according to NASA and other space agencies, millions of years ago, this was a lot different. It was a lot like Earth. So why do people have a problem with believing that there could be a civilization that once lived on this planet or maybe still thriving on this planet? And there you go, folks. Folks, I believe that these space agencies are hiding the true color of Mars. Why? I don't know the exact motive. I don't know the exact reason. We've also seen that Mars had a civilization living on it and may still be living on it. We've seen plenty of proof of this. Many, many photos, whether it be something strange in a rock or areas that are stretched out and look like structures all over it, which I agree with you guys. It could very well be something that they made look smaller and it's actually much larger. There's many things you can do with a camera and really mess with your eyes. And I believe that they know every single angle, how to manipulate different angles, different zoomed in uh, methods, all kinds of stuff thrown together to hide or disguise what's really in these photos. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious as what you have to say. And please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got some more crazy ones coming up, so stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys this evening in the Friday evening hangout at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Until then, peace.